on YouTube, Darko Mofo here with another week episode of Eaton Guao and his side deck tech talks. So today, what are we gonna talk about? Well, today we're gonna talk about how to side against the meta that's coming out in Tachyon. Uh, one of the more unfortunate things about Yu-Gi-Oh is that Tachyon is being released uh, with cards like decks like uh, Elemental Dragons, Prophecy Support. Uh, it's gonna be a very, very difficult time for all players who do not play these decks. And so I will be talking about some of the options on how to side against these decks. Alright, let's see what you have in store. Alright, the first, the first card that is probably the best option possible against uh, Elemental Dragons is Imperial Iron Wall. A big part of Elemental Dragons is banishing cards from their grave, from their deck, from their hand. Um, and Imperial Iron Wall just prevents all that from happening. They can't even attempt to activate their effects if Imperial Iron Wall is active, and that's just... Uh, it cripples the deck if they don't have an answer to it. Um, another thing Imperial Iron Wall is good against is Prophecies. It's probably one of the better cards out there as well. Uh, Prophecies will not be able to use the Spellbook of Fate, which is probably the best spellbook in the Prophecy deck. Without Spellbook of Fate, their deck is not half as scary, and of course it also stops uh, Priestess from vanishing from the grave. You just have to know to activate it before they attempt to activate Fate or Priestess because those are costs and so if you chain this, it won't do much. Well, it will st still stop Fate if they banish 3 and attempt to banish, but it's best to get this on the field early. Another thing it's good against, of course, is stopping bottomless deep prisons and such, but unfortunately it does prevent you from using those cards as well. Uh, it's good against heroes, their miracle fusions, um, even windups can't banish Rabbit or make those plays, but probably not that good against windups unless you don't have any other options. Um, against, well, if you, 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 I, I did an earlier segment um, last week about cards that uh, prevent graveyard effects from being activated, and if you yourself use your graveyard a lot and you don't want things to get banished, this is the best option for you if you don't have like uh, decrees or MSTs. It's just a solid choice. Another card that I'm going to talk about is called Stygian Dirge. And what this card does is, I'll read it to you. Reduce the levels of all face-up monsters your opponent controls by one. And you can see why that's good against many decks that only have a certain rank in their XYZ deck, such as Elemental Dragons, which for the most part go into rank 7s, as all the Elemental Dragons are rank 7s. Uh, I've seen many Elemental Dragon builds, and uh, almost none of them run any rank 6s perhaps with the exception of uh, Gaia, Gaia Knight. Um, so Slaging Dirge uh, really stops from making plays, except, especially when they already have all their Elemental Dragons on the field. If you play this card, they won't be able to go into anything, and then they'll just return to the hand in their next end phase. And so I've seen this deck, uh, I've seen this card being played somewhat recently, um, even Elemental Dragons sided against the mirror. Um, you can imagine why it would be good against uh, wind-ups. Most of their rank 3 exceeds will be harder to go into, and they don't run any rank 2s. Um, again, against uh, synchro decks, well against other decks that like heroes probably they can't exceed either, they don't run any rank 3s. Um, many decks don't run other ranks, they just run one rank, and so Sliding Dirge is an option. Right now, it's People don't run it, I guess, because many decks run a varied amount of uh, ranks, but... It's, it's a good card to look out for in the future. Exactly. I picked up three myself just because I predicted it would uh, become more popular. And uh, yeah, it's really good. I mean, the points I got this was because mainly for Elements of Dragons. Another card uh, I've been playing around with is Anti-Spell Fragrance. Uh, recently, you may have seen my deck profile. I did a deck profile on Ninja Samora Glock, which made three of these. Um, the good thing about what Anti Spell Frequency does is basically your opponent has both players must set spell cards in the field and before they activate them, and they will, won't be able to activate them until their next turn. So they can't use it on their opponent's turn, you have to activate on your own next turn. And of course, this is good against mainly spell books. But however, uh, you can't get the impression that this will stop spellbooks. It really does. It only stops them for a turn. Um, and the reason why this card is good is that if you are playing a deck that goes off really quickly, like, say, Elemental Dragons, Evil Swarms, um, 
or Heretics, if you put this on the field, all it takes is one turn to win for those kinds of decks. And you know, I played this in Ninja some more again. I, I found, what I found was that, unless I opened this card against Spellbooks, it really wasn't good at all. At the regionals I played against recently, I was playing Ninja some more block, maining three of these. My first two rounds were against Spellbooks, and I lost both die rolls, and then, in turn, I lost to both of them 2-1. Uh, which is really unfortunate, which is why I scrapped the deck, because I like, I built it to beat spellbooks to begin with, and if anti-spell fragrance can't do that for ninjas, then I'm sure it can still do it for other decks. It's definitely something to put out there. Another card that used to see some play, then uh, did not, was Vanity's Emptiness. You got a tiny bit of hype when it first came out, it went up in price, and then people just didn't play it. And you know, the biggest disadvantage of Vanity's Emptiness, well, I'll read the card to you first. Neither player can special summon monsters. Destroy this card when the card is sent from the deck or the field to your graveyard. So the biggest problem with Vanity's Emptiness is MST. Not because you can MST Vanity's Emptiness itself, but you can MST a card, another card on the controller side of the field, and Vanity's Emptiness will be sent immediately once that card is sent to the graveyard as well. Um, don't get the impression that many people misread this card and think that if you don't control Vanity's Emptiness and you're the player that you're, you're playing against the person that has Vanity's Emptiness, if you have a card that goes to the graveyard, Vanity's Emptiness will go too. But that's not the case. It's only if a, a card is sent to the controller of Vanity's Emptiness grave does this go to the grave. Uh, one of the good combos you can do with Vanity's Emptiness, however, is if you're maining something like Macrocosmos, um, Vanity's Emptiness will stay in the field. Uh, much more often because Macrocosmos sends everything to the Banished Zone, and if things aren't being sent to the grave, Vanity's Emptiness won't go to the grave either. And this is good against um, probably. Well, it's good. It's it's probably uh, never dead against any deck, but uh, especially against the meta Elemental Dragons, um, it's going to be pretty bad for them if they can't get it off the field. Uh, they can't use half of their effects if they can't special summon. Their only outs are really uh, MSTs and uh, Burner. Well, the one that discards two to destroy a face-up card in the field. And so, it's always been good against Wind-Ups, Six Samurais, anything that special summons, Mermails. The problem being that it is quite easy to remove, but it is something to consider if you run macro or other forms to protect the card. Alright, well... Eaton, thank you once again for week two. YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't be shy to comment down below. He would be more than happy to uh, answer them in the uh, following weeks. So, guys, thanks for watching. Dark Room Muffle out. Peace.